Hey guys, Feral Strike here with day four of Project Orc and Goblins 2, or Project Orc and Goblins 2 Part 4, whichever one you want to take it as. So today I started working on my Orc, no, Goblin Wolf Jarrett, and uh, started coloring the browns, the greens, the silvers, the blacks, this black wolf here. I might do the gray thing now, change it. I might choose gray for the fur, but I'm not sure I want to see. I'll see what I want to do. But a major update is the, the brown. If you watch my last video on my war machines, I used more Frank brown on the wood. And I decided to take a suggestion from my comments and use it. And this comment uh, was from Farron Adams, and he said, why don't you use a bone white wash? And I didn't actually use a bone white wash. I actually, instead of using Mourn Fang Brown, mixed Mourn Fang Brown with bone white and got a lighter brown. And I don't, maybe I can compare it to my, my Doom Diver thing. Uh, it doesn't look too different, but it is a bit lighter, and um, yeah, I really liked how it turned out. It, it's a bit better than than what I had on this. This one is a little lighter, so yeah, I'm liking it, and I will continue to use it with my wooden war machines and my and other stuff in this orc and goblin army. So on to our question of the day, which is. What was one piece of fluff or rule for any game system that you read and thought, what the? So, after thinking about it a bit, I think the fluff that I was like, what the hell, was, and it was influenced by other people actually too, well, mainly ID4chan. If you ever read his tactics, his tactic pages are pretty co cool. You just go to whichever army you want to choose the tactics for. And you just type in 1D4CHAN and tactics of whatever army you want to choose on Google and you'll end up at a page. You'll find some link to a page that has some pretty cool tactics on that army. I mean, there's other army tactic sources like the individual Bugman's Brewery site or Ogor Stronghold, but... This guy has like a general overview and thoughts on units and everything. And if you haven't checked it out, I, I recommend it if you like the Warhammer game. But anyways, the fluff that I was like, what the, that I read on ID4chan's site about S Matt Ward and Sisters of Battle. They had a story about Grey Knights who slaughtered Sisters of Battle and wore their skin or something on their armor to fend off demons and they talked about how Grey Knights, I'm not an expert on 40k fluff or anything, but they said that Grey Knights already are immune to getting controlled by demons so it didn't make really much sense for them to kill the Sisters of Battle and wear their skin on their armor. It's a pretty gruesome story, gruesome fluff, but I thought, yeah, that's pretty, doesn't really make sense, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's what happens, uh, I guess, when someone, you know, yeah, that's just what happens in fluff sometimes, and, uh, poor sisters of battles, they've been kind of canned or shitted on. In, in the fluff rule or the, the storylines apparently by Matt Ward and uh, for whatever reason and I think Sister of the Battle are pretty cool but you know maybe yeah that's just meant to be like that so anyways yeah enough of my ramble I'll cut cut it down to five minutes I'll see you guys in the next one peace